Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Third Age Total War Massive Overhaul submod. We'll get right into this and try to fit in as much crap as we possibly can. Anyway, we've got to take cold fills and then we can focus our main attention on the Misty Mountains themselves. Rohan's recently lost his capital and, uh, well, it's not looking good for them in the south. So yeah. Good luck to them, but uh, I'm afraid I can't really help them. So, they're on their own. They're on their own against two giant stacks of Mordor infantry, uh, rune infantry, which came all the way from the east. And an entire stack of Misty Orcs, which is the only good news that came out of that. Because if they're down there, they're not in the Misty Mountains, bugging me. <laughs> okay, we're attacking this at night to get rid of some of the reinforcements that they had. We'll do the same thing that we usually do, which is make multiple entry points and attack from all sides. Fucking mouse stuck there for a second. Okay, let's group the king with the best units that he has, which is one, two, three, four, five. I don't actually think the Dragon Slayers are the best troops that we have. I think the Iron Guard are, but whatever. <laughs> I want to send them in individual groups of five. I said individual groups of five. There you go. There you go. If we attack from all directions with equal amount of infantry... Hopefully we'll take minimal casualties in this. That is my hope, at least. Now I know they have archers, so we'll stay at a distance until we've got the gates down. Okay, we'll send that guy there. This guy can make an entrance point here. This guy can come over here and make an entrance point Kinda there. We will make more than just three entrance points, but I'll get each battering ram to open two entries, and that way we, we can attack from all different sides and a flank where the best positions are. We'll keep it back because they do have a lot of archers compared to the other orcs. It's kind of a situation of if we the least men that we lose, if we lose the minimal amount of men, then or dwarves, should I say? Then we won't have to worry too much about, uh... Well, fuck. Okay, what was I just talking about? Minimum amount of men? <laughs> Quickly get to the walls so that they can't shoot you with ballistas. Wait, what the fuck? How the hell are they shooting me from all the way over there? However, we'll move them up now. Okay, I never thought they'd be able to hit me from all the way over there, but there you go. So much for losing minimal amount of men. Jesus Christ. Fucking ballistas just... Fucking ripping the shreds out of my men. Look, giant lines of guys just completely screwed. We are through the enemy's walls. Into the breach and on to glory. The only way to combat that is either get the fuck back or...
we can get them in as quickly as possible. We don't want to be sitting ducks outside with those fucking ballistas shooting us. Okay, with that gate down, we charge the king in, who is currently getting pelted by ballista fire. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Let's just get rid of these fucking ballistas because they're going to be the main cause of all my infantry loss. <laughs> There goes their captain, I believe. Or is that their general? Who cares? They're dead. You'll notice I'm going completely silent now. It's a uh, concentration. <laughs> Set the king there. If we can get our cavalry in here quickly.
Well, and then if we can get him around here, get him to actually do something. A bunch of dwarves here just sitting around not really doing much. <laughs> Get in there. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. trying to do is get in here and kill as many of them as we can as quickly as we can with as minimal casualties Okay, we're capturing the Citadel as we speak. But a couple of units of the guys are not aren't really doing much. <laughs> it's just really hunt the orc now, isn't it? Or goblin, should I say? Lost a little bit more men than I'd have uh, liked, but... We have lost control of the city. Okay, just these archer units now left, and that's it. May as well stick it on times two. We took a bit more casualties than I had hoped we would, but... Should still be plenty of uh, men left to... Left to fight the orcs in the Misty Mountains. And that should be it. We've won. They're all dead, at least. There you go. We only lost 300 and something, actually, so not too bad. See what I mean? Our forces are a lot more uh, well-trained compared to the Orcs. Wow. 
Yeah, see what? I can do this. Group them together and uh, make them in the one unit so that you don't have to like get rid of them individually, which is pretty sweet. I never actually even knew you could do that. I'm now worried about that little tiny orc group that just split off attacking me. On the other hand, we have a giant force right here trying to attack me. So I think I will deal with that first. Yeah, with Cold Felsars, theoretically, we should be able to mainly focus on, uh, well, <laughs> focus on the Orcs. Okay, still kind of worried about that the Orc army there attacking me at Cold Fells, but I'm more concerned about the giant Orc army attacking me at the Orc outpost and killing Gimli, which we don't want. So I'm really hoping that the three peoples take out that orc compo uh, compound and uh, I don't have to worry about that place. Because if I only have to worry about the Misty Mountains, we've got this. We can deal with them, I think. Hopefully. Probably. Maybe. I've been thinking about uh, what faction we're going to do next. I'll probably stick with the uh, whole voting idea and let you guys choose. Although I'd prefer not to be facing the same enemies that we were facing with the dwarves. For instance, if we were the free peoples or the high elves, we'd generally be facing the orcs of the Misty Mountains and the orcs of Gunnabad again. I'd rather take a break and go somewhere else to like Rohan and fight Isengard or Gondor and fight Mordor. Well, actually, we've already done Gondor and Dale, so... I th I'm thinking Rohan, personally. Just because it's different. I've gone go from like infantry to cavalry kind of thing, just to spice things up a bit. I think they fought, they made their forces fall back and back into their capital, right there. That all they still have a giant amount of dudes at their capital. <sighs> See, all, all things could go to hell if uh, if those orcs attack from a different bit of mine. I don't have any defense, and it's what I'm really worried about. I really hope the free peoples just take that camp of theirs already. Chieftain of the orcs is dead. I know that's because I just killed him. I'm 
Show. Now, do they back off or? I was going to get game lead to build a watchtower here for a second. I did not mean to do that. I really want the free peoples to just take that and deal with it themselves. Let's build more spies. How much shit am I going to have to leave in here for it to be happy? Probably way too much. Yeah, pretty much everybody. Which sucks, because I could really use all of the forces focused on that. I was going to send Gimli over the Coldfells. kind of annoying because I got the risk. I want to go take out their capital and just beat them back, but there is nobody defending Coldfells. Really risk the fucking free peoples would actually do something decent for once and take this in place. So I didn't have to worry about getting stabbed in the back every day. <laughs> Ooh, I can upgrade. Awesome. Let's do that. Okay, knowing that I'm probably going to get attacked from Coldfells, that's, uh... Go next turn, I guess. I really don't like this, because it just... I mean, I'm hoping that they'll focus on the free peoples, because they're in their borders and they're in land, so I hope they don't just go straight to attacking me, which would just be horrible. <laughs> The good thing is, the king's army is still relatively strong with quite a lot of guys. I'm going to need him to take out the rest of these orcs. I think I'll make Gimli the Lord of Moria, though. And then he was, like, slightly related to the last guy. I think he was, like, his cousin or something, so... There's a thing in the books. I always wanted to see Moria, like, before it was... You know, overrun by orcs. Uh, 
I'm seriously worrying right now about the Zulks fucking attacking me. I wish the free peoples would just, you know... Oop, King of the Elves is dead. Not quite sure from what. Something to investigate. Yeah, that's right, that's right. You kill those Orcs. Uh oh. Okay, I really want to pull back right now. Yeah, does anybody else have the feeling of dread and, you know, being screwed? Because I'm really getting that feeling right now. That is a big ass fucking pile of enemies. This is where spies would have come in handy so that I could have knew them that they were there. Probably find that's the army that came back from Crusade after all that, but <laughs> still got more air to take afterwards as well. How much cash am I making every turn? Only two hundred and sank. Can I build anything over here? Let's just do this again. Okay, that's uh... Go to the next turn and hope to hell, I guess. Because we. I'm just thinking to myself, because if we do get attacked by those orcs, and I bet my ass that we will get attacked by them. Uh. Yeah. We're screwed. Well, we're not screwed. I think we could win. Kind of. Maybe. If we set up a really good defensive position. But they have archers. We don't. They also have wargs. We don't. They have cavalry. So we don't. Yeah, we're screwed. <laughs> I don't know, if we set up a good enough defensive position, we might be able to win. Huh? It's not like we have a poor commander. But if he dies, that's our entire defensive unit in the mountains completely fucked. And the only thing left is Gimli's small force at that orc encampment. After that, we're fucked. I mean, if that army falls... So does every single bit of defense that we have, just minor defensives with Gimli holding that little fort. I really don't think we're going to be able to put this into an entire video. We are so screwed, we are so screwed, we are so screwed. Is it Goblin Volunteers? Shit. So they're all relatively crap. Huh. Volunteers. Okay, those are a bit better. Those are a bit better. Infantry. The second army is a little bit better than the other one. Well, I mentioned the catapults, which is just going to cause me all kinds of grief. Um, we are not going to be able to fit this into an, uh, into the next ten minutes. So uh, we'll end this here. It'll be another thirty part. A little bit shorter than the rest of them, but but whatever. Uh, I think we'd probably better just to end it here and then do this part in the next, do this fight in the next part. So guys, annotation top right hand side. When we come back, the fate of the future conquest and well, everything I guess will be decided by this victory. If we win, we've taken the Goblin Town and weakened them, fucking loads. <laughs> if we lose, every single well, this this is the only army defending us. Once this is, if this is falls. We're fucked. And those catapults are going to cause me God knows how much trouble. And we have no cavalry. So, yeah, it's going to be one hell of a fight. Uh, I'm going to need coffee. 
Anyway, annotation, top right-hand side. I will see you guys there. Wish me luck. That's all for now. Soul out.